So back out the uh, Notice that's something all those people always say too is we. They always, they're just doing something, just them, and they say we. We got this, we did that. I don't know. It's just something people say, I guess. But, um, so for the old Dodge Raider, we went ahead and, um, went on Amazon, solenoid, $13.55. Two days I got it in my hand I figured why not <clears throat> comes with this little jumper wire it says to uh, says to put it to this small terminal here and then jump it to the big uh, battery terminal I don't know why it's an aftermarket thing it's what they tell you to do so I guess I'll do what the Chinese tell me they make good food, so, um, you know, they steered me right in that, you know, sense. But. So, not too much for breakfast inside today. Uh, just going to have some crackers. You know, got the cheese in the middle. Something to keep me going. So I got the new one in. Hardest part was those bolts that uh, bolted down to the inner fender. Kind of rusty little bitches. We got that jumper wire on. It's all hooked up. That way the other one was. So now this obviously, you know, is not going to solve our original issue of the. Uh, thing not going up and down all the time but uh, in the last video you seen it was just clicking and uh, things like that happen you know you're working on one thing and something else goes so I figured to start off better just go ahead and replace that and then we'll uh, we'll see what happens here and then I got another trick up my sleeve. Get absolutely nothing. Not even a click. Now we got some funky shit going on. Well, it didn't do anything, as you've seen. Sorry for the sniffling. It's uh, only about 15 degrees out here. But, um... The, uh, their jumper wire, I, I just uh, took it off. And I went inside and hit the lever. And it worked. Plow was moving all around, doing all kinds of stuff. But then, it just stuck on. The motor was just turning and it was just stuck. It, it seems like the solenoid just stuck. So, I quickly uh, yanked the uh, power wire for the pump itself off before it burned itself up. 
and uh, as soon as you just touch it, it just automatically kicks up. That's uh, that's a bad solenoid in my book. Brand new, and uh, she's already stuck. What do I do now? Whacked it with a hammer. Now it's working, but it kind of sticks sometimes. So at least that problem is somewhat solved. But I'll be calling them and uh, getting another one sent. So now that that issue is somewhat cleared up, um, you know, at least it's working now. I uh, readjusted the chain, jacked it up, and Adjusted that out so it's uh, good and everything. It seems like this main, you know, piston is struggling a little bit. You can see it, you know, it comes up, but it just doesn't have the uh, power to lift the whole blade. And I mean, it almost seems like something's stopping it, but I don't see anything that could be, you know, obstructing it from going up. It should should lift that right up so I was uh, watching a YouTube video and it's time to dig into this uh, pump a little bit seems uh, not too bad so we're gonna try something and for that you're gonna have to watch the next video um, where I uh, have some more tricks up my sleeve on this uh, old Dodge Raider plow rig so keep on liking keep on subscribing keep on commenting <clears throat> thanks for watching as always